Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. This is Lori. I, um, as I've mentioned on here a couple of times, trying to rearrange things and make myself some more room so things are easier to get to and all of that. And, and I was watching, I've got a bunch of these Nouveau drops sitting in this like shelf that I made out of a cardboard box and it takes up room on my table and yes I use them but you know not all of them very much and you know I just thought maybe you know I love the way they look up there and everything but maybe there's something wiser to do with those and so it just so happened that I was watching a tonic video and they were saying that you can make your drops ahead of time and then later on just go on and um, use them and you can keep them in a they said a jar I think I will use um, probably a you know a box or something but so I just want to go through right now and just make a bunch of drops and let them sit and I wanted to share it with you I don't know um, the Nuvo drops they're simple you just take and you squeeze out for how big a drop you want now some do self-leveling. I think most of the drops self-level. I think it's other stuff that really doesn't self-level. But I believe the Nuvo drops do. And I'm just going to go ahead and make them kind of just a regular size. If I need to make them smaller or bigger or whatever I can always pull my drops out now one of the reasons I thought this would be worth it to save space is that they always take such a while to dry and if you're working on a project and you need them to dry then you have to wait. You put them on and then you wait for them to dry. So I figured this way, I don't necessarily have to wait for them to dry. Now this, these ones were glitter drops and the color is Summer Sunrise. This is one of my favorite colors. It's a glitter drop. This is a dream drop. And I'm hoping that you will be able to notice the difference in these. Um, this one that I just got done doing is one of my favorites even though it's a glitter drop but these dream drops I love dream drops there is they're an iridescence like a pearl or an opal you know they're the color is not in the glitter it's it's just I don't know how to explain it but it's like a pearl, it's an iridescence. So I'm hoping, I don't know if you could see the difference from so far away, but I'm hoping to hold them up so you can see the difference. In how it looks. So the glitter drops 
are the ones over here, the first two lines. And the other two lines are the dream drops. These are like translucent. These are not. Now, I don't know if they're not, if they're all not, or just those ones are not. But, um, I am noticing them spread on this. And it almost seems like there's more of a spread on this. But I could just be imagining that. Um, let's see, what other one do we, do I want to share with ya? I got about a vintage drop. And I do tend to use these. Not as much. This color is worn navy. Also on the tonic show yesterday, they they do recommend that you store these upside down. Now, I like to store them right side up only because I just love the look of these little bottles. Um on the counter. So these are the vintage. You know, I didn't shake this first. But I was just kind of hoping to give you a look at all of the different kinds and some of the different colors. It is amazing what you can do with these. You can paint with these. Um, that's what they say. I wouldn't with the vintage because I don't see the point of that. But let me show you the vintage. And you will notice that you can still kind of see a peak on some of them they're more matte looking there's not really any sparkle or anything to them they should still level out but they hold their peak a little bit longer they seem like they're a little bit thicker um i could be wrong with that but that's just what it seems like to me now i'm not worried about labeling my dots or anything and knowing what color is what because basically i'm going to use um I'm going to use the color that I want. It goes with my thing. I'm not worried about the name of it. This is a jewel drop. So this is still different than all these others. So we have a glitter, a dream, a vintage, and this is a jewel. And again more like the dream drops with the iridescence but yet kind of like the glitter drops in that they're more um, translucent And I will show you the, these here in just a minute. So you hold the bottle over your paper, not on your paper. And you just let it drop. Okay, so 
That's the jewel drops. The vintage, the dream, and the glitter. Let's see, we have also, let's see if I can find the, glow drops. I don't know if I've really used, uh oh, come on Larry, be careful. The glow drops. This should have been for Mixed Media Monday probably, but, um, I just thought, you know, I'm not feeling so great, not having a lot of energy and stuff right now. I just thought, uh, I'll do this. It's not going to be difficult. And maybe you can learn a little something about drops. Maybe we both, I don't know a lot about them. I know I love using them. Now the glow drops are supposed to, I guess, glow in the dark. I don't know. Oh. Uh, yeah, see? Glows in the dark. And let me see if I can hold those up. So you can see those. Alright. Oh, what other kind? I don't know that I have any of those stone drops or anything like that. Um... These are glitters. Vintage. Glitter. Glitter. I did at one point have stone drops, but you know, when I came to move, I lost some stuff. This I'm sure is vintage. And this is vintage. So it doesn't look like I have any of the stone drops. Glitter accents. Crystal drops in the white. What was this? Dream drops in the white. So look at that. I got crystal drops in the white. Here is. I think this might. Oh, well, these are glitter drops too. There's a lot of colors. A lot of um, rainbow color. So here's the. I don't know what I did with those stone drops. I know I wasn't that big a fan of them. See, it seems to me that they're spreading more on this acetate. Let's see the difference between those white and these white. So these are the dream these are the crystal and see translucent not translucent um, silver moon dust glitter drops
or whatever, I'm going to be able to tell the white from the silver. There is two different. One's a glitter drop. This one's a glitter. So it should have a different look. But right now, and from the angle I'm looking at it, they look a lot alike. My hands seem to be a little shaky. show you that one. Oop. Okay, let's get some more color in here. How about some purple glitter drops? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm doing a line of the purple glitter drop. Uh-oh. I can actually see down the thing the glitter running through. <laughs> That's pretty color. I don't know if you can tell. But here is, and this is called Lilac Whisper. This is the same thing. Purple Rain. And it is also a glitter drop. So let's see what if we can see a difference. It looks a little bit darker in the bottom. But that's basically And like she said, I'm going to peel them off and I'll put them in some kind of container. Okay, now we got a purple. Let's see, what is this called? The tag's lost. Purple Bash. And this is a vintage drop. So it's going to be like this, matte. And honestly, there are some people that just are not into sparkle and shine and, you know, they want that matte look. But I thought, too... If I make them into the drops already, I don't have to worry about them drying out in the um, bottle, right? Because I will have the dots already now. Of course, I'm going to save some. I'm not going to use it all. I'm going to keep it for painting and other things. But to have some drops already, see, that's the vintage... That's the, well, it's the purple whatever, and this is the lilac. They're glitter drops. If you can see that difference. I like the idea of being able to see what the color looks like outside the bottle. Um, this is a 
jewel drop. This is steel blue. So that blue really looks like a white. That's why it's nice to be able to see what it looks like outside, right? But what about this blue? This is Blue Lagoon Glitter Drops. And I gotta watch because the um, opening right here. Let's try this green glitter drop. Sunlit Meadow. Let's see if it looks green. It looks like it's going to look green, but that one blue looked like it was going to look blue, too. That one did look blue. It definitely does look green. It's funny because, you know, with the glitter drops being translucent, it's got to be like the glitter that's green. And I don't know when it dries, if you'll be able to tell, but right now you can definitely tell that it's the glitter inside that's green. There we go. Okay, my sheet is done. So now I need to wait probably 24 hours, I believe, is what they recommend. 24 hours. Then flip right off, and I'll put them in a container. I've got more to make, but I know that you don't want to sit and watch me make drops all day, so... And I think there's some really pretty colors in here, these purples, but my favorites, still, this one, this one, and that white is awful pretty. Um, and if you saw, I made up one of my swaps yesterday and showed what I was putting in it. Uh, 
this will be one of the swaps. So I put three of the sponges, a mica mist spray, a um, Nuvo chalk mousse, Nuvo embossing powder, a Nuvo lemon twist. If I remember correctly, this is a very, very pretty color. And I don't know why I don't have any here. Because I love Lemon Twist. And I don't know. I may still have some sitting somewhere. That I just haven't had put away yet. And then this. Enchanted Even Eden. Glitter. I had used the other day. On something. and Oh it was so pretty. But I've got a full bottle of it already. So that's one swap right there. Um. Yeah, that's one swap. So, um, anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. And the swap, of course, is going to be at 200 subscribers. We have quite a ways to go, so... Um, yeah, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.